In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set the real-time clock in HMI STU HMI from Schneider. The STU product is a great product and very economical, but it does not have an internal real-time clock. So you either have to manually set it or you have to get the information from the PLC. In our example, we're going to get the information from an M221 PLC, but the, much of what we do here can be used with any manufacturer of PLC that's out there. So if we look at the, uh, the challenge that we have is many PLCs, the real-time clock information is actually in BCD. So there will need to be some coding in the PLC that actually converts the time into an integer value. So uh, we have a video reading the real-time clock with the M221 and changing it in another video on our site. You can take a look at that for the example of how to do that. But in our example, we're going to come here and we're going to be reading and changing hours, minutes, month, day, year. And the first thing you need to do is set up your variables and we simply set them up and they're going to be integers pointing to the right spot where we set them up in the PLC. And then in our case where we're just reading it, we just make a data display where we're reading that integer value for the hours, minutes, seconds. And you can tell here we're not in the input mode right now. And we're able to read those values from the PLC. If we want to change it, specifically in the M221, we have to set system bit 50. So what I did is I created a separate page, which is pretty identical, just a little button change here. We'll go back here. And when we do this button change, we're doing two things. When we push the button, we're going to the change RTC panel, and we're setting a bit in the PLC that allows it to be changed. So that would actually be uh, M0 in our case, which turns on system bit 50 that allows us to change it in the M221. So once I go to, to this page, I now allow input to go change the data. And in my variable screen, I actually set limits. So on the uh, hour, for example, in the data details, I set a range of 1 to 23, so you can't input anything from there. And then once this information is in here and my changes are done, I go back, I do another thing. I basically um, reset the same bit, and then on that reset, it actually changes it or sends the PLC data to the system word of the PLC as the coding is done in the other video. So now once that's done, the PLC has the real-time clock changed, but we also need to change it in the HMI. So in order to do that, we come into Actions, and we create an action. Our action is only done every 10 seconds. We can make it less if we wanted to. It's just a, a periodic action that does, runs a script. And in the script, if I go to Edit the Script, you can see the syntax isn't necessarily real friendly, but if you do a screenshot of this, you can see what it is. We're doing a sys set time and a sys set date, and we're taking the PLC hours and minutes, and we're actually setting the system time using those variables here, and we're setting the system date with the PLC year, month, and day with the syntax shown here. So that is how you set the, the time and date in an HMI STU. Thank you.